Hey, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you an update of the Louis Vuitton Tambor Horizon watch. This is the smartwatch, it's the connected watch, and it's part of the Android Wear line. So since this watch was released earlier this year in the summer, Louis Vuitton has released two new sets of faces, a total of four new faces that were from two campaigns. So I'm going to show you those first, and then I'll also just walk you through briefly how you can update it on yours, because the process isn't as straightforward as I thought, and it took me like a few trial and errors to finally get it working. So right now I still have it on my favorite watch face in terms of a, a standard watch face. This is the E-Scale, and this has an analog version as well, which has all of those nautical flags painted on the watch. This one obviously is all digital. So this was one of the first new watch faces that was released. This is from the Cruise collection, Cruise 2018 for women's. This was the Kabuki. And I'm sure you're familiar with the leather goods that they release as part of this campaign as well. You can also see the eyes animate whenever you turn it on and off. And when it's off, you can't really see the outline of the face. You can just kind of make out the minute and the hour hands. And then along with this one is this other version, which is brighter with more pinks. This is also from the Kabuki Women's Cruise 2018 collection. The eyes also animate, but this one has more details that you can kind of see when it's off. Just with the exposure, it's a little hard because we're mixing different light sources with my studio lights as well as the light emitting from the watch. So it's kind of hard to get all the details in, but I think you get the idea. So that is the second watch face from the first set. And then Louis Vuitton recently released a second set. This is more from the men's line. This is their spin time. And they also have a real watch called the Tambor Spin Time. But I believe it retails for around 50000 Because the way that these cubes in the real one are made, it's very complex. And I haven't figured out a way how I can actually spin it if there is even a demo mode. So if you do know that, uh, please comment below because I'd be interested in trying that out. But right now, just the cubes spin based on the hour on a 24 hour time scale. So 17 means it's 5 o'clock. And then this is the regatta, which is themed for the America Cup kind of motif. You have the blue, the marine blue, the red, and the white, which is from the America's Cup collection. And then I did find out that this has one special feature. It has a stopwatch. So when you double tap it, it starts and stops the watch. You can play it, pause it, you can also rewind it if you tap three times, which is how a chronograph works. So on the second hand of most chronograph watches, they have buttons on the top and the bottom of this crown where you can rewind or start and stop the second so you can kind of use it as a stopwatch. Obviously not as accurate as just using it on your phone, but it's just a nice little added feature. So those are the four new watch faces. And so now I'll show you how you can update the watch so you can get the new faces. So if you slide up, it should tell you if there are any app updates available. and it should connect to the Google Play Store. If for some reason you can't swipe up, then you just navigate to the Google Play Store on your watch. This is 
If you're familiar more with Apple, this is their version of the App Store. So I've already updated my apps that pertain to this watch, except for this Google update. So if you haven't updated yours, you should see the LV, the LV Pass or the LV City Pass updates. You should just update them all. So like the LV Link and the LV Watch Faces, you should definitely already have those apps installed on this watch because they should come with it. But you need to update those in order to get the new watch faces. And if for whatever reason it doesn't work, there should be a search feature. If you go home, if so if you can't find the apps for whatever reason on your watch, when you go home, that's where you can find the search feature and that's where you would tap on that. You, I guess you could use the microphone, but I think it's just easier for me just to use the keyboard, which is actually okay for me. So when I type LV and I search, you'll see that the first apps that come up are the LV apps. And the first one, the LV watch faces, that's what you want to update. Like I said, it should already be come pre-installed in your watch. If for whatever reason it's not, you can install it here. You can also install it from your phone. And once it's installed, it I mean, it should already have the most up-to-date one, but if you already have it on your phone and you haven't updated it, then this is also where you should see an update option. And then you just tap it and it'll download it. That is it. That's how you can get the new watch faces on your watch. And I'm sure Louis Vuitton will be releasing more watch faces as well because they kind of need to keep this current and they need to keep people interested in purchasing it. Hopefully they'll release more dynamic watch faces, kind of like how this one has the stopwatch feature. I hope they'll release one that's maybe a little bit more special that has more interactions with it. So there's the regatta, the spin time, this is my usual, my regular, my 24 hours, which is the Escale. And then the other two new ones are from the Women Cruise 2018, the Kabuki. You can see this one there. And then this is the other one. I'd be interested to know which one of the new faces you like best and if you own this watch. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. I hope to see you in my next video.